Hello everyone, Alon Sela here and today I, I want to talk about uh, an introduction to the Radon Nicodim derivative. Uh, so let's start. Uh, for, for, uh, for us to understand what it means we have to talk about a little game and the game is uh, pretty much like this. We have four balls, on each ball there is a number one, two, three and four and we have a bag we putting uh, all the balls inside the bag and uh, we cannot see uh, the balls after we put it inside our uh, little bag for each ball uh, there is a probability of one uh, over four to draw it out of the ball or out of the bag and uh, let's say we, we are drawing out uh, ball number three then we get three dollars and if we get ball number one we get one dollar and we will say that x is our profit so if we drew uh, ball number three x will be three dollars uh, and let's uh, calculate the expectation of our profit the uh, expectation of X so the expectation of X and I'm calling it the expectation under the uh, P measure you will soon understand why uh, but let's for now just uh, take it as it is one minute and you understand so the expectation under P which mean under this probabilities of x is just one, uh, each uh, each number each ball and its probability so it will be 1 and 2 times 1 over 4 plus 3 times 1 over 4 plus 4 times 1 over 4 uh, we have uh, we have 1 times 1 2 times 1 3 times 1 and 4 times 1 so we have uh, this over 4 so we have uh, uh, we have uh, we have uh, 7 we have 10 yes 10 over 4 which is 2 and a half so under these probabilities which I'm calling uh, this uh, big P uh, the expected profit is is uh, two and a half dollars now let's introduce a new uh, kind of uh, probabilities for each ball ball number one ball number two ball number three and ball number four but now I'm calling this new me measure Q and under this new measure I'm saying that ball number one uh, the probability to draw it out is 2 over 16 the probability to draw number uh, ball number two out is three over sixteen. For uh, ball number three, the probability to take it out is five over sixteen, and ball number four will be uh, six over sixteen. And if you want to think about it reasonably, uh, reason with uh, maybe uh, a little bit of reason, maybe uh, maybe this ball is the heavier so every time we put it uh, all the bags inside uh, all the balls inside the bag this drops down uh, every time and this is the lightest one and so we will stay on the top most of the times something like this I don't know and uh, we play the same the same game again we put it inside a little bag and we say X will be our profit and uh, uh, if I take ball number four, I take I I, I get uh, four dollar, and so on. And now we want to calculate uh, our uh, expected profit. But now, with respect to this new probability, uh, and this why I denote it by uh, the expectation under the Q probability of X. So this is the difference between the uh, expectation under P and the expectation under Q so we have now 1 times 
2 over 16 plus 2 times 3 over 16 plus 3 times 5 over 16 plus 4, four times 6 over 16 uh, it's gay it will give us 1 times 2 it's 2 2 times 3 is 6 3 times 5 is 15 and 4 times 6 is 24 divided by 16 and it will give us let's see 2 plus 6 plus 15 plus 24 divided by 16 it will give us 2.9375 so this is the expected profit under the uh, Q measure and again when I'm saying measure I only mean uh, uh, this new uh, probabilities so how we can connect this uh, this expectation under P and this expectation under Q so actually this is what we called uh, the radon nicodym derivative and uh, all we are saying is if we are want uh, the expectation under the Q measure of X to be equal to the expectation under the P measure all you have to do is to multiply uh, the first probability with some uh, w with something and this something this Z is the uh, Radon Nicodem derivative and let's see how it works so we know that the probability uh, of the profit under Q is 2.9375 uh, and it should we want it to be equal to something time the uh, expectation under the P so we can see that uh, 2 point uh, nine three seven five if we divide it by two and a half we get Z which is equal, equal to let's see uh, we said two point nine three seven five divided by two point five we get one point one point one seven five so in our simple case this is the radon nicodym uh, derivative and actually what uh, it tell us that uh, if we want to uh, calculate the uh, probability under Q or if we want to take the probability under P all we have to do to switch from this to this is to uh, multiply or divide by by this Z which is 1.175 and why we want why, why should we we do this um, in this simple case maybe you don't see the the reason why but think about uh, if you are getting uh, let's say this Q measure and it's a uh, maybe a little bit messy you don't understand uh, understand why why this uh, uh, why the reason behind the uh, uh, this uh, probabilities and you want to to work with uh, more nicer and easier probabilities it's much easier to calculate uh, with this equal probabilities than uh, under the p measure and uh, rather than uh, this uh, much messier Q measure so if we want if I have this uh, Q measure and I want to work with the P measure all I have to do is uh, to take into consider this uh, Radonicodim which is telling me how to change from the uh, to the expectation under the Q measure to the expectation under uh, the P measure and this of course is a is a simple case uh, and we will see later on how we can uh, uh, relate it uh, to uh, continuous times and uh, much harder uh, problems uh, that's it for now see you next lesson bye bye